What's going on? My name is Scott and I'm going to show you how to install an OBS plugin for a Mac user. Stay tuned. Now, if you're interested in tools and techniques to make your channel grow faster, subscribe and click the bell and you'll receive new notifications of videos from me every Tuesday. I do the heavy duty research and you get the subscribers. Well, Morning Fame says I shouldn't make this video because there's no search volume and it's going to hurt my channel, but guess what? I don't care. I'm going to make it anyway because I know there are just a handful of people that would appreciate this information. So I'm doing it. Here we go. Okay, pop over to OBS Open Broadcasting Software. The website, it is obsproject.com. Isn't OBS a wicked program? I mean, if you put a price tag on it, you could probably sell the software for 500 bucks. And the reason why is it gives you so much incredible power in respect to making your live streams look fully produced, like you could with editing your videos. And the beauty of, uh, of live streams, of course, is that when you're done, you're done. So you combine OBS with your live streaming and you are a player in this space in YouTube. It is actually revolutionizing the, the computer space because uh, a lot of people are upgrading their PCs, Apples aren't so good, are upgrading their PCs to uh, work more effectively with the software. Anyway, uh, go into obsproject.com and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and select resources section, okay? This is where the plugins reside. And this is uh, one of the primary reasons why OBS is so fantastic. It's an open source program and there's so much energy getting contributed to the software that it just makes it unbelievably powerful. And you really, I mean, the, if they were to sell this, it could go for 500, 600 bucks, no problem. Now, um, what I want you to do is go to, once you get into this section, uh, click the OBS Studio Plugins button here and go to Filters and select Downloads and Descending, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is listing the plugins by popularity of downloads, that's really important. Click Filter and now you have a list of plugins that are sorted according to how many downloads have occurred. Um, and in, re in respect to Apple plugins, Mac plugins, the one that I want to um, install is the scene switcher software. And basically what this allows you to do is switch from one scene to the next automatically upon an event occurring, like the end of music being played, for example. Another one that seems very, very interesting that I'm going to be digging into in the near future and making a video about is the iOS camera for OBS Studio, which allows you to use a iPhone as a secondary uh, camera source or a primary camera source. That seems really cool. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, folks. There are so many cool, cool plugins for this software. Okay, so download the, um, or you don't have to download it. I'll download it and show you how to install this into your Mac install, okay? It's gonna be cool, here we go. Okay, upon successful download, you wanna double click the zip file. In this case, it's called Scene Switcher. Just double click it, and it will create an expanded folder containing more contents. Open it up and take a look at the Scene Switcher folder in Mac OS, and do you see the advanced dash scene dash switcher dot so? It's an so file. That's the file we're looking for. Highlight that and copy it. Now the next part is a little bit tricky because in a PC, the installation creates folders and subfolders, but in a Mac, it does not. So in order to see how to install the, the SO file, go into the OBS uh, icon in your dock if it's there, right click on it, hit options, and then uh, show in Finder. Upon seeing the application highlighted in applications, right click on it and select show package contents. This is the key. The .app file is almost like a zip file in, in a sense. So we want to open it up and take a look. Show package contents. Now we want to go to resources, sub choice, OBS plugins, and paste in the new SO file from the zip file that you downloaded, and you are done. This is Scott Victor from Blue Fox Creative. Thanks for stopping by. Stay strong and keep fighting.